Welcome to this Wednesday edition of the Bears Rumor Rundown here on Chat Sports. I'm your host, Derek Tate. On today's show, the Bears have traded for a kicker, but it may not be the one you thought they would trade for originally. The rookie minicamp took place over the weekend, and a rookie running back has been making some early impressions on the coaching staff, but is it the one that we all expected would be shining here early and often? At minicamp as well, a rookie was rumored to have been making enough plays that his teammates actually starting chanting his name on the field who exactly was this player? And lastly, Vegas came out with their odds for the 2019 season. Are the Bears favored to repeat as champions of the NFC North? Find out on this episode. It's not very often that you start off the rumor episode about the kicking position, but this has clearly been a main focus of this coaching staff this offseason. And in fact, there were plenty of rumors over the past couple weeks that an old Bears standout kicker being Robbie Gold may be potentially returning to the Chicago area. And it's for good reason. Robbie Gold actually is the second most efficient kicker in NFL history, knocking in 87.7% of his field goals, only trailing Justin Tucker of the Baltimore Ravens. He's actually the, the all-time scoring leader for the Chicago Bears as well, with 1,207 points for the Chicago Bears. However, it was not Robbie Gold that was traded for on Monday. It was Eddie Pinheiro. And say it with me. Eddie Pinheiro, not Pineiro. It's Eddie Pinheiro, a former kicker of the University of Florida, the Florida Gators standout that actually only kicked for two seasons before declaring for the 2017 NFL draft. He actually went undrafted, or 2018 NFL draft, my humble apologies. He actually went undrafted in that 2018 draft and was picked up by the Oakland Raiders and placed on injured reserve. And that's where he spent the entire season. So the Bears, again, have reached out to their old buddy, John Gruden, and acquired Eddie Pinheiro for a 2021 conditional seventh round pick. So you got to think the Chicago Bears, it's a 2021 seventh round pick, a conditional seventh round pick. So you got to be happy because Eddie Pinheiro, I love what he did over at the University of Florida and can kind of give you a snapshot of what he did at the University of Florida in Gainesville, he had a career 88.4 field goal percentage, 94.4 in 2017, and he actually chipped in 96.6% of his extra points, including going five from five for five from 50 plus yards. He's got plenty of range in that leg. And in fact, he's fantastic on kickoffs as well. So Eddie Pinheiro seriously has the upside that I imagine some Bears fans are going to be pleased to see him at least come in and compete for this kicker position. Again, it's an open competition at the current moment, but certainly one worth monitoring I'll give you a pretty good idea of why they are so concerned about the kicker position this season. Obviously, it ended at the kicker spot with Cody Parkey failing to knock in a field goal that would have sent them to New Orleans to take on the New Orleans Saints in the divisional round. And they go home after what was such a fantastic season for the Chicago Bears. They clearly want to address this position heading into the 2019 season. In fact, it feels like they brought in everybody except Nigel Gruff from the replacements movie as to, to come in and compete for this kicker spot. So he Cody Parkey ranked 30th amongst qualified kickers in field goal percentage last year, knocking in at a 76.7% clip. That is just not going to get it done. And it clearly cost them in the postseason in the most tragic way. Clearly head coach Matt Nagy and general manager Ryan Pace are taking a strength and numbers approach to this kicking competition in this 2019 offseason. So we're really going to have to continue to monitor this as we head into training camp, as we near the 2019 season. Speaking of monitoring position battles heading into the 2019 season, one that is going to be very important to Bears fans is going to be the running back position. And some rookie running backs have kind of impressed over the weekend. Now, the Bears hosted their rookie minicamp, which featured their five draft picks from the 2019 NFL Draft, 
also along with 22 undrafted free agents, 12 Bears first-year pros, six unsigned veterans, and 39 unsigned rookies to total 84 players for the coaching staff to go ahead and evaluate over the weekend. Now, early reports and rumors suggest that rookie running back David Montgomery and Kareth White Jr. were pretty impressive, with White in particular being called the fastest player on the field from Bears senior rider Larry Mayer. Now, White was buried beneath Devin Motor Singletary on the depth chart over at Florida Atlantic University, but he is a very sudden player that you really need to keep an eye on in the return game. So the fact that he was noticed as one of the fastest players over this weekend, you got to like that you brought him in to be able to contribute in some way, shape, or form. Hopefully, he's probably going to be as a, if he wants to make this roster, it's mostly going to have to be on special teams. But the fact that you can have another dangerous weapon potentially in the return game, you want to keep an eye on Kareth White Jr. But really, you're expecting, and most Bears fans are expecting big things from David Montgomery, the talented rookie out of Iowa State. Look, it's undoubtable that David Montgomery and Bears fans are extremely excited. He flashed his quickness and solid hands at the rookie minicamp this weekend. And look, he bears a striking resemblance to another rookie running back that actually led the NFL in rushing his rookie season with Matt Nagy's time over in Kansas City. And look, that is Kareem Hunt. If you put the numbers up as their measurables in particular over at the NFL Combine, David Montgomery and Kareem Hunt are almost identical as far as their size and stature and speed. I mean, barely any difference whatsoever as far as weight goes. They're the same exact height. David Montgomery being a little bit more stout at 222 than Kareem Hunt was at 216 coming into the NFL. David Montgomery ran a 463 at the NFL Combine. Kareem Hunt ran a 462. But more so, what I love about their games is that the best aspect of their games is that they are incredibly elusive at the moment of truth at the point of contact. They both make subtle little jump cuts that avoid oncoming tacklers, and they both maintain their balance very well through contact. Now, you want to be excited because you're hearing that David Montgomery has solid hands, and he certainly showed that at Iowa State as well as being a guy that is capable of being a three-down back. Tariq Cohen, I hate when people call him a gadget player. I just think he's a hell of a weapon and a football player in general, but he's never seen more than 100 carries in a season. So you really got to temper your expectations if you think that Tariq Cohen is going to be the quote-unquote lead guy, which I don't think many Bears fans expect Tariq Cohen to be the leading ball carrier in this backfield. But David Montgomery and Mike Davis should have a very interesting competition to see who is going to earn some of that early down work, lead dog role as far as the primary ball carrier on this football team. I think personally it's going to be David Montgomery. Montgomery shows so much natural running instincts, especially between the tackles, and just an elusiveness capability that even though his athletic profile doesn't scream great athlete, neither did Kareem Hunt. And Kareem Hunt led the league in rushing his rookie season and was having a fantastic second year until he was untimely released by the Kansas City Chiefs. So, in fact, there were some rumors that can't, the Kareem Hunt was going to make his way to Chicago before, of course, when Dorsey, the GM, and the relationship that he had with Kareem Hunt brought him over to the Cleveland Browns. But I digress. So, one of the things that I want to go ahead and ask Chicago Bear fans, where do, will David Montgomery lead the Bears in rushing in 2019? Type Y for yes and type N for no. My take is that David Montgomery and Mike Davis are probably going to split some carries earlier on in the season. But once David Montgomery gets fully acclimated to this playbook and this offensive system, he should take off as the leading back in this in this backfield, I don't know if he eclipses the 1,000-yard mark as a rookie, but I do think he leads this team in rushing yards in 2019. More rumblings coming out of the rookie minicamp with positive reports coming out about the rookie corner out of Kansas State, Duke Shelley. Now, for those of you that are unfamiliar with Shelley, he went under the radar as an undersized prospect at corner at 5'9", 173 pounds. He also missed five games of his senior year with a toe injury. Now, during his time on the field in his senior year in particular, he knocked 
33 tackles to go along with three interceptions in seven games. So he was mildly productive. He's certainly someone that I could see coming in and potentially challenging Buster's screen for the slot cornerback role, which, look, in today's NFL game, it's no secret that a slot corner is incredibly valuable. So I do like some of the – I heard – what are the, some of the rumblings that I heard – about Duke Shelley over the weekend. It seems like he is finally healthy from that toe injury that he sustained during his senior year. Now, while the Bears did bring in Buster Screen, I don't exactly expect to just automatically assume that Buster Screen is going to be the nickelback for the Chicago Bears for the 2019 year. I particularly remember some moments where he kind of got shredded out of the slot, particularly in his time as a New York Jet. Look, I'm not going to go out on a limb and say that he is going to win this nickelback role outright from Buster Screen, but it is incredibly encouraging that Matt Nagy is speaking very highly of Duke Shelley with his first impressions with him over the weekend. He's certainly a player worth keeping an eye on heading into 2019. And can the NFC North defending champions get a little respect? The Westgate Las Vegas Superbook has released their Super Bowl conference division and over under for season wins odds with the Bears in a dead heat with the Green Bay Packers and Minnesota Vikings with a win mark set at nine wins for all three teams. Now, Vegas is still giving the Bears a slight edge as the best odds to not only win the win the division, but also make it to the playoffs. But clearly Vegas is expecting some sort of regression from the Chicago Bears, along with a better season from Aaron Rodgers in Green Bay. And certainly the Minnesota Vikings still have an incredibly talented roster heading into 2019. Here are some of the odds. The Bears are 14 to one odds to win the NFC. They're seven to one odds to win the division, plus 160 over under on nine wins. And to make the playoffs, they're negative 110. Now, for the Green Bay Packers, they're 14 to one odds as well to win the NFC, seven to one odds to win the division. So, I mean, the fact that the Bears and the Green Bay Packers are dead heat, given what we saw from Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers, it's kind of surprising. I mean, I understand Aaron Rodgers is fantastic, he's great. But I'm just kind of surprised to see the the Bears who are maintaining pretty much their entire roster. I mean, they have did lose a couple players. Don't get me wrong. And I'm not going to go down the laundry list of players and all the transactions from the 2019 offseason. But it is a little bit surprising that a defensive unit that finished top seven in every single major category is in a dead heat with two other teams in the NFC North, despite Aaron Rodgers leading one team in the Minnesota Vikings having a ton of talent on their roster from top to bottom. So it's interesting to see that this is the opening line coming out from Las Vegas. So I'm going to go ahead and propose this question to you. How many games will the Bears win in 2019? I don't expect them to win 12 yet again this year, but I do expect them to win 10 and certainly make the playoffs. It's going to be a competitive division as obviously Vegas is suggesting. And I think so too. Aaron Rodgers was, you know, injured in the very first game against the Chicago Bears to start the year and they just looked out of sorts especially with Mike McCarthy you know being fired mid-season so it's going to be very interesting to see how the the Green Bay Packers bounce back the Minnesota Vikings did address the offensive line through the draft this offseason which was absolutely horrendous for them and they dealt with some injuries on their own they've still got Kirk Cousins Stephon Diggs Adam Thielen they got a lot of talent on both sides of the football so I understand why Vegas is almost unwilling to commit to a team but I do think the Bears stand the the best chance to go ahead and win this division which should be hotly contested and that'll do it here on this episode of the Bears Rumor Rundown here on Chat Sports. If this is your first time coming across our channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as we come out with brand new content across the NFL on a regular basis. Also, please sound off in the comments about your thoughts on today's topics. And until next time, bear down, Chicago Bears.